Hi, welcome back to the workshop where I'm about to start work again on my entry into the Great Guitar Build Off 2022. Now as it stands I've got less than four weeks to get this build done so I'm not going to waste any time by talking too much. We'll just get down onto the bench and crack on with the build. So when we left the build I had the body pretty much completed. There's a little bit of cleaning up work to do on it and obviously we need to do the routing for the pickups and the neck pocket. But I'm going to leave that until I've got the neck way near a completion. So we can get this out of the way again and we'll get some timber on the bench and we can look at what we're going to use to actually make that neck out of. And what I've got in keeping with the rest of the build is some walnut and some maple. And you might be able to see this quite a bit of flame in that maple as well. And um, what I'm going to do is I think I'll have this piece of walnut as the two center sections to the neck. So these will be around about half that thickness and they'll be separated by a black veneer to form that permanent center line that's going to be running right the way through this build. We'll then have two kind of very thin stripes of the maple and then the two outer pieces of the neck will be made from this piece of walnut. This is a little bit thicker than the other piece so they'll make for kind of two slightly chunkier outer sections. So first off we need to take some measurements, get some dimensions worked out and then break this down into the kind of suitable size chunks that we're going to need. Okay and having done a bunch of figuring out and kind of trial runs and marking up with protractors and stuff, what I've found is that I need the blank to be about 60 mil deep to give me the kind of thickness that I need to get the headstock in comfortably and also to make the blank the right width but still maintain the laminate structure without cutting through from the walnut into the maple when I introduce the taper for the fretboard I need to ensure that the four center sections are about 30-ish mil and then the two outer sections will make up the rest of that so basically what it works out at is that I'll have the kind of veneer down the center which is kind of less than a mil so pretty much inconsequential then I'll have two 10 mil strips of walnut two six mil strips of maple which will give me about 32 millimeters and then two 14 mil sections of walnut and that will make sure like I say that I'm not going to cut through the outer sections of walnut into the maple so the stripes on the neck will kind of be consistent right the way through I will of course then have to add some wings to this because the headstock is a touch over 80 mil so about 85 mil material needed to fit the headstock in so I'll then have to glue some additional pieces of walnut onto the outside it is going to have a headstock veneer so the laminations on the front of the headstock won't be seen so basically what we're going to end up with then is a block of wood with multiple laminates that's 60 mil by roughly 60 mil so I need the whole thing to be kind of roughly 700 mil long as a starting point. So I'm going to get this all marked out. I'll get it broken down on the bandsaw to rough dimension. And then we can look at getting it all resawed into the thicknesses that we need. I'm probably going to have to run it through the planer to get it to thickness as well. But like I say, we'll get it dimensioned down first. Okay, it's clear that that bandsaw blade is past its best and it's just wandering all over the place. So I've broken out the table saw, I'll get everything dimensioned down as close as I can on this, and then we can get it through the planer to get it down to its actual dimensions.
Okay, so there's all the wood cut. And as you can probably see, the need to cut this on the table saw has necessitated a change of plan because the excess material that the table saw blade took out has actually meant that I didn't have enough thickness to do what I wanted to do. So I've had to put in a couple of more pieces of maple. So it's now a nine piece laminate of walnut, maple, walnut, maple, veneer, and then repeat again. Not a problem, just different from what I was planning. So everything's together. All the surfaces are really nice. It's all been through the planer. All I need to do now is break out some tight bond and every single clamp I own and just get this all glued up and we'll be good to go. And as you can see, I've drilled some holes through all of these and I've got some little locating dowels just to make sure they all go together as they should. Keep everything nice and straight or as straight as we possibly can. Now it's quite a warm day today and this glue will start to kind of dry quite rapidly. So I'm not really gonna mess around with this. It will be a quick and sloppy job, but we can clean it up later. So it's not gonna be a problem. And that's just the case of getting some tight bond onto each piece. And get it spread out. And get it located on the pins, and then to the next one. And that's the last piece together and just need to get some clamps onto it now. Now this might look a really, really messy job, but I'd much rather spend five minutes with a damp rag cleaning the bench up than run the risk of not getting this together properly. So even though it looks messy, the main and important thing is that we get this all clamped up and together before the glue starts to dry. Okay, now it's all clamped up, made loads of mess, so I'm just gonna go and clear all this up now. We'll leave it in the clamps for a couple of hours and then see how we've done. Okay, so I've left this for a good few hours now, so the glue is good and dry. So we'll just start getting all these clamps off and we'll have a look at it. And there it is, all glued up. It appears to have gone together really well. I can't see any gaps, but you can't really tell until you start to work this down. But so far, I think that's so good. So the next step is to start getting this all cleaned down. It's a little bit uneven on the top, so we'll need to do quite a bit of planing there. I'm not concerned about evening up the bottom because that is all gonna get cut off at some point. But I'm not gonna start cleaning this up now. I'll save that for the next episode, which will be coming along in a couple of days time. So until then, as always, don't forget to like if you've liked, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and I'll look forward to seeing you in a few days' time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.